It's important to get a degree and it's also while you're doing the, the degree it's very important to kind of um, you know uh, make contacts at the same time. You're gonna need contacts and connections if you're gonna really make any sort of you know vast improvement early on otherwise you're just you know just another random person that nobody knows and then you have to kind of prove yourself Hello, I'm Michael Ray and I'm standing outside Sheffield Studios, one of the biggest studios in England. A studio like this could give a, a vast amount of hope and opportunity to any young, inspiring filmmaker, but only once inside. My goal is to give you first-hand information about a variety of topics that are important to the industry, such as college, university and apprenticeship, and freelancing. But first, I'm going to talk to someone who, ha who started his film career before he went to college. Arbiter617 has a YouTube channel with over 100,000 subscribers. He directs and edits a vast amount of high quality animation stories within video games. I managed to get a short interview with him so I can understand the use from doing this kind of work. The first question I would like to ask you is this, how far do you expect your YouTube career to go in terms of the film industry? Well, I can honestly say I never expected it to get as far as I did right now. I initially started it as this kind of little hobby, and I was, you know, I could only see myself going for another few years or so. Um, I made my stuff back in a old video game that came out in 2007, I think. And, you know, I only really saw it lasting till the end of that game. I didn't really think that I'd be doing it here, like, seven years later. Um, I believe I could actually keep going with it for a long time and keep doing it on the side. Uh, I actually make money off advertisements now. So I'm actually, you know, earning some revenue for doing this. It's not just a total hobby anymore. Oh, okay, cool. Because you're earning money from this, do you feel like you could put this on your CV or, or, or put it in your portfolio? Yeah, I, I don't think it's necessarily something you could put on a portfolio and say, hey, you know, look at this, I made this. But certainly there's skills you learn in it that you can, you know, you can say, oh, I know, you know, 3D compositing and visual effects and stuff that I worked on for these movies or... Uh, and even little skills that, you know, like script writing and voice acting and just in general, just kind of directing a film, you learn these little skills. And if you end up, you know, doing these things for a job in the future, you'll have, you'll at least have that experience. A common discussion between students in college is whether university or an apprenticeship is better for getting into the film industry. I conducted a questionnaire of BTEC creative media students and only 14% of them would like to go to university. I met up with some of them to discuss why this is. Um, hello and welcome. Um, as young inspiring filmmakers, um, what appeals to you more, university or apprenticeship? Um, to have an opinion? I feel like more on apprenticeships. Oh, have you? Yeah. What kinds? Um, it's the production, mainly, yeah. Do you, do, you, do you think getting into the industry, um, having a univer um, having a degree, is worth anything um, compared to experience as, as an apprenticeship? I think it's definitely, from what I've researched, you you are better off having practical experience yeah. in doing an apprenticeship because you could spend three years trying to get a degree and be in all that debt, but still come out of university and still only get an entry level job. Whereas some of the apprenticeships that they do, like BBC and Channel 4, you know, you, you could be guaranteed for the job at the end of that and you know, you're, you're actually meeting people in the industry as well and getting contacts. You know, maybe a degree is better if you want to do like non-practical things like writing or something like that. Yeah. I find it strange that a lot of students are really being put off university. So I'm going to see Simon Wright, a creative media teacher at Strode College, to find out his expert opinion on this matter. Can you summarise the benefits of university and apprenticeship to a student? The, I, I'm, I've dealt with both. I've dealt with uh, apprenticeships and I've also dealt with uh, higher education. For me, the main benefit of higher education is that you, um, 
you get the life experience as well. So it's not just about the the work and the academic side of things, but there's there's a, a certain level of emotional intelligence that you'll learn when you're at university. With apprenticeships, if you get the right one, it can be it can be excellent. You know, it's the first uh, rung of a ladder in in terms of your career uh, and progression. If you get the wrong one, though, it can, uh, you know, set you back a, a couple of years. So, uh, my advice really is that um, when you're looking for an apprenticeship, you make sure that you, you do your homework essentially. And it's exactly the same with university. You can get a, you can get poor university courses or degrees that don't necessarily offer you uh, any industry experience or. Um, the, the type of skills that make you employable once you've graduated. So homework is, is really the key, key thing. I've done a questionnaire of 14 creative media students. 50% would rather go on an apprenticeship and only 14% would go to university. Why do you think that is? And do you think that students underestimate university because a lot of people are going on it? I think a lot of people, I think a lot of students do underestimate university actually. I think, um, BTEC Media is, is, is a practical course and I think the, the, the natural sort of progression for BTEC students is to want to go uh, into, straight into work. Um, traditionally BTEC courses ha have been for less academic students but more and more now uh, universities are, are, are prizing BTEC, good BTEC grades and um, for me, if I, if I was uh, enrolling or, or interviewing people uh, at a university, what I would want to see is that they've got a, a high level of practical skills and they understand how to kind of work on production. That's equally as important, if not more important in some cases uh, uh, for, for degrees. Do you, you know, do you reckon having a degree with a lot of other people who have a degree give you an advantage over someone who, who's gotten to know people in the, in the industry via an apprenticeship? Uh, what would your like, comment on that? I, th I think there, there is always that element of who you know. Uh, I, I think that's the case with any job, though. It's not just it's not just um, specific to the media industry. It's probably more prominent in the media industry, and you can get further having less qualifications. What I would say, though, is that if you find the right degree course, you will make contacts through as you're on the course so for example I, I used to teach at the Manchester College and there was a real emphasis on students going out and working in the industry um, purely because of, of the notion of, of making contacts and yes your, your the headlines of your degree are very important i.e what you got because that does say something you know if you get a first class honours in a degree that shows you know it, it, it says several things to a potential employer it says that you're hard working it says that you're reliable it says that you've got a certain level of intelligence um, but that needs to be married with with uh, with contacts so uh, yeah, it's, it, it's important to get a degree and it's also while you're doing the, the degree, it's very important to kind of, um, you know, uh, make contacts at the same time. It seems like Simon really wants more students to go to university. However, to really understand what university could offer, I would have to visit one myself. I managed to arrange an interview with Rhys Davies, a media lecturer at Royal Holloway University. Hello, who are you and what do you do here? Uh, my name's Rhys Davis, I'm a senior lecturer in the Media Arts Department where I specialise in teaching uh, creative sound design. I'm also the admissions tutor for the department. Uh, well, it very much depends really on what you want to do uh, and it very much depends on the department that you apply for. So for example, Warwick University is a theory only um, uh, department and so you won't be doing any creative practice you'll just be uh, looking at the media industry from a theoretical standpoint um, and really there's not many sort of industry or creative industry, in creative industry focused jobs available for somebody who graduates from Warwick theirs is more of an academic path uh, places like Bournemouth and York um, they're very much um, creative industry trainers so they'll train you for the industry as as it is today so they will train you to be floor managers multi-camera directors television basically they replaced BBC BBC used to do training courses uh, but then John Burton Margaret Thatcher said no no you can't do that let's have the marketplace and it's the universities that took up that slack when the marketplace failed to do anything if you come here um, we focus on creativity so we have a 50 50 split between theory and practice um, and um, 
we found that that's a very good combination because it is both strong vocational elements, learning how to do stuff basically. That's what I teach, I teach you how to do stuff. And there'll be somebody else in the theory side who'll teach you how to think about stuff that you do. Um, but when you graduate from here you have an 86% chance of um, working in the creative industries, in the media industries, within six months of graduation. That's what right. the st right. statistics tell us. Yeah, we're right at the top of the tree for that. It seems like university is the best place to go if you're willing to be lumbered with the debt. However, before I wrap up this documentary, I wanted to get some advice from someone who is currently doing freelance work for themselves. Georgino is a student and has done a lot of this type of work while studying. Hello, I'm with Georgino, someone who does a ton of freelance work in his spare time. Can you explain what, what you do exactly? Uh, well, thank you for having me here as, you know, as an interviewee, first of all. Um, as a freelancer, there's, there's a lot I, I get up to. Um, you know, I, I do a lot of music video production, um, filming events like concerts and um, weddings, um, and I've started to get into a lot of corporate stuff, you know, like promotional videos and corporate events and stuff like that. So it's basically um, filming and editing. That's, that's basically what I do, you know, that's what I do. What, what attracted you to this type of work? Because it's quite unconventional, really. Yeah. yeah. Um, like I say, I, I reckon it's the passion I have for um, this particular thing. You know, I reckon that with anyone, really, if you're passionate about something, I reckon the best thing you're going to do is to go out and do what you're passionate about. And for me, that's filming and editing. You know, I I'm, I get a lot of joy from that. So I that's probably what made me want to go into this more. And um, obviously, a lot of help and encouragement from other people like uh, my teacher, you know, in media as well, you know, he actually encouraged me to get out there. You know, that's, that's ex in quotes, that's exactly what he said, just get out there, you know, and um, yeah, like, but I reckon it's the passion, you know, if you have a passion for something, you're just going to get into it, you know, you're just going to get into it. Yeah. But when, when you go for it, as you said, your teacher, um, what, do you find any problems or restrictions that you have to overcome and how would you say you deal with them? Yeah, yeah. I, the, when, when I got in, involved with this, I reckon it was just probably last end of last year or something like that. Yeah, most likely. Um, there's a lot. There's a lot. You know, there's there's a lot of risks to take, which is 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 quite, is quite exciting at the same time. You know, but um, you could get stressful. You could get stressed out easily as well. You know, so many things can can. Um, get you discouraged, upset, like number one, you're not working for anyone, you're working for yourself, so you have to produce, you know, you're, you have to, you have to, in a way, you have to sell yourself to that client, to that company, to that group, you know what I'm saying, so there is a lot of things, but with me, I reckon, you know, if you're an organized person, and if you know what you want, and because of the passion, the passion drives you, you get what I'm saying, even when you get down, even if you don't get that deal, you don't get that spot, because the passion you have is going to drive you to do more. Do you get what I'm saying? So, um, it's all internal. That, that, exactly. Yeah. So um, there, are, there, has, there has been a lot of things. You know, there has been a lot of things. Like I've learned how to say no to people. You know, I've learned how to say no to some people. Like for example, I'm, a, I'm still a student. Do you yeah. get what I'm saying? So I don't want a, a lot of workload. You know, even though I enjoy doing this, I still have to concentrate on my education. So I, I've learned to say no to a couple of projects and stuff like this, and at the same time concentrate on my work. But like I said, there has been a lot of things that has, you know, arisen, but because of the passion I have for this thing, you know, it's going to drive me, you know, the next step, so, yeah. Hopefully you've gained some new information from watching my documentary. An individual might have an advantage from coming from a wealthy background or getting a university degree. However, that does not create success. Having a good mindset and attitude while hard working are the key qualities to make it in the film industry. No matter what background one comes from or what route one takes, great work can be produced by anyone if they have the passion to.